What's going on YouTube? Got a recap from the CSA show at Chantilly. It was my first time ever going. Um, even though it's like an, only an hour for me, I've never been. Um, a friend of mine had an extra ticket for a pass to go and I decided to tag along. It was a lot of fun. I will definitely be going back. Um, spent a lot of money, bought a lot of cool stuff. A um, couple things that I'm not gonna show just because they I can't fit them on my desk really right now. Got a Jabba Chamberlain signed 16 by 20 with Steiner cert for 25 bucks. And then for 40 bucks, I got a, um, I got, uh, Jorge Mateo 11 by 14 and a Felix Bautista 11 by 14 signed. Um, and then I'll grab this other one real quick. This was actually my last pickup of the show. Um, it's a dual signed 8x10 of Brian Rackman and Ryan Kerrigan with JSA. I paid 20 bucks for this. Found on my last on the last day, literally right before I left. Uh, so that was really cool. Um, so just a couple random pickups. I picked up a lot of Jalen Smith cards. Um, so with basketball, I PC Oklahoma City Thunder, my favorite team, and also University of Maryland alumni. And I really like like Jalen Smith when he was at Maryland. So I picked up all these cards of him. Nothing super special. Just like, you know, a couple selects. Um, mosaics. Prism. Just a bunch of random color. A lot of this I didn't have yet. Um, so... Most of these were between like 50 cents and a dollar each. Most of them are about 50 cents. Um, but added a bunch of those to my PC. That's cool. Um, I did a lot of this stuff that you're going to see. Some of, some of the stuff you'll see. And I'm not showing all of it. Um, I did buy out someone's value boxes. So I was talking to the guy and my buddy and I, who I was with and I both had a stack of cards. And my friend had to go, he was going to Bartolo Cologne signing and had to go because they called because it was time for it. And I was gonna negotiate a deal for all of our stuff. I asked the seller how much for, he had two value boxes. One was a four row with all 25 cent stuff. There's a lot of like F1 Chrome rookies and refractors and color and stuff in there. So that intrigued me because I knew a lot of that stuff I don't collect, but I know go I can sell for at least a dollar each on eBay. I do a lot of low end cards on eBay like that. And it was a lot of just like colored rookies and rookies, a lot of really good stuff. And then the other box had one, it was a four row. I had one row of 25 cent cards, one of $1 cards, one of $3 cards and one uh, $5 cards. And I also had a book, a JK Doblin, Dobbins booklet number to 49. And I asked the guy what he wanted for all of it. Um, he said $220 and I countered with 120 and we eventually settled on 145 for both boxes. I sold $21 worth of stuff out of it to my friend instantly. And I've already made a decent chunk of my money back already off of it. Um, now this is just some like base thunder stuff, PC stuff that was in that box. That's just in this stack here. Um, so some of the stuff you'll see in here was from there. Some of it was stuff I picked up from dollar boxes and stuff. Um, then mainly spent the whole day buying stuff from value boxes. Um, basically, uh, this was um, a, one of my more expensive card purchases. Probably my most expensive card purchase today besides a lot. Aaron Wiggins. He fits both my PCs because he went to Maryland plays for OKC. Uh, rookie Auto from, um, what's this, Panini Black, number 25, so they wanted 25 for it, and I talked him down to 20, so that was cool. Um, it's only my second card of him, so I was happy to get that. Uh, Lou Dort, Lou Dort, one of my, Lou Dort's one of my favorite players right now. Uh, Poku, Poku, just a bunch of, like... I said just random OKC Thunder stuff. Like nothing huge in here. It's all pretty low end, but you know, I paid like 50 cents a piece or 
most of it less because I did bulk deals, but they were in 50 cent boxes. Some of the stuff I picked up from one seller who I did a bulk buy, I did like a $30 lot of stuff out of his value box. Um, some of it was from the value boxes I bought. Um, Carson Wentz, Garrett Cole, Juan Soto, more Wentz, Diami Brown, Gibson, Sean Taylor, Chase Young, Matthew Stafford. Um, this is mainly just some base. I can get signed and just PC stuff. Uh, Logan Thomas, that'll get done. Uh, this really nice Logan Thomas dual threats. Green, Chase Young, Terry. Um, this stack right here, same kind of thing. I'm not even going to bother going through it. It's just a bunch of low-end stuff. This is some of like the... I guess nicer stuff I pick, I picked up. Um, there's just random Jared Patterson on top. Dommy Brown, Orange, person I paid I think a dollar for that. Jake Funk went to Maryland, paid a dollar for that. Sam Howell paid a dollar. Um, Evan McPherson, I like collecting kickers, and I haven't picked up this card yet, so that was like fifty cents or a dollar. Terry, Sam Howell. Gibson number to 199 that I paid 50 cents for. Sweat uh, Darius guys I liked him when he was Washington. This is a uh, number to 65. This was 50 cents. Uh, this was nice. Sam Howell prestige extra points. Jahan Dotson, John Bates, another nice Logan Thomas. Logan Thomas is a great signer in person, so whenever I see nice stuff of him, I try and pick it up. Uh, Diami Brown, uh, nice Logan Thomas camo mini, uh, Taylor Trammell. This was in the uh, $3 section of the value box I bought. Don't have an autograph of him yet, so I was happy to see that. There's a bunch of Washington stuff in there, like P. Ryan, um, select uh, jersey autograph, Quentin Dunbar auto. And just random autos I keep in my collection. Um, I do like collecting autographs, so they'll stay in my collection. Uh, Kelvin Harmon. Jarrett Patterson. Just a nice Brett Favre. Uh, Pat Spencer auto. This is Des Fitzpatrick, number 99. All these autos were in like the... Th three dollar or five dollar section of the box cam sims but when it comes down to it i really probably paid like 10 cents each if that uh jamin davis this was also in there number to 199 uh one of my all-time favorite players jordan reed um the the uh, seller had 15 dollars on this but i ended up getting it for five bucks so that was nice. Dax Mill, number to 30. He wanted uh, 12 for this. I paid five. Uh, you're in Mercedes. Uh, I watched him play in the minors, so I like him. Um, this was three bucks. But it was in one of the bulk deals I got, so I probably paid about closer to $2 for it. Uh, Steven Sims Jr. Uh, these next four I bought from a seller for paid, I think it was five bucks for all four of these autos. So Steven Sims Jr., Trent Edwards, just random quarterback I remember watching when I was younger. Um, Jim Sorge, um, number 4.99. And Ryan Terrain, he played for Washington at one point. Um, like I said, five bucks for those four hours wasn't bad. And then I picked up this uh, Poku Emergent from CSG95 for, uh, it was either five or six dollars. But um, no, like, absolutely massive pickups besides the value boxes, which have some nice stuff in it but that's mainly the resale but um 
I had a fun time for my first time going to a show. That was my first, like, big show. I've been to a lot of small, like, mall shows and stuff, but I've never been to a big card show. Um, but I pick, I tried to mainly pick up a lot of PC stuff, and there's a lot of times I get caught up in the, oh, I could flip this, I could flip this, I could flip this, which kind of what I did with the value boxes, but I wanted some more inventory. But at the same time, I really tried to focus on picking up some nice PC stuff, and as you can see, all this stuff right here is PC stuff I picked up, so... Thanks for watching. Um, like I said in my last video, I'm going to try and catch up on making some videos. But so be on the lookout for some more videos. Uh, please like, comment, subscribe.